Hey, grade 9. Today is our MAPI Physical Education. My name is Rinaldo B. Malimban. We are here in third quarter, week 1. Our lesson for today is talk about the skill related fitness. There are many ways to keep body healthy and physically fit. To be able to participate in some games and sports, you need to nutrition food and proper exercise to keep your body physically fit. Teenagers like you can also begin to develop some skills such as balance, coordination, agility, speed, and power in order to become a good athlete someday. We can try to learn the different skill related fitness program for the athlete's health and for the body enhancement to be able to participate in some athletic games in school. As you make your workout on the different exercises, record results and effects of the different skills development activities for the required athletic fitness. Now, what is the importance of fitness? As a rule, healthy and the physical fit are usually better able to deal with the pressures of life. They are also less of susceptible to certain diseases such as a heart diseases. So being fit means we need to handle whatever comes your way from day to day before you're preparing for a fitness program. You have to determine your goal and what kind of fitness program you like to do. One is health related program is for the betterment of your health. And that is include of the flexibility, muscle strength, strength and endurance and also the heart and lung endurance second is a physical enhancement program makes you look more beautiful why because these are sun can develop our qualities and for the the true meaning of a sudden chance of this program that can be resulting of to learn the new skills to the persons become uncomfortably so that is a physical enhancement program third is related fitness program it is for the development of physical health for the sports and the athletic events just like the skills like the balance coordinations agility speed, power, and reaction time. When we say balance, it is the process of orienting yourself and space which includes muscle reflexes, visual cues. It can either be a static or a dynamic balance or the it's either the reaction time by the example of walking in straight line develops good balance. So in this balance, it is required 
in sports such as skating, volleyball, diving, gymnastic also, uh, boiler, and the discussed room. So that is the, the important of the balance. Now another type of, of fitness related program is the coordination. Coordination is the ability to shift smoothly from one position to another because in dancing requires total body coordination during the movements according to the musical beat and so the basketball, the soccer, the tennis and the badminton are sports that require perfect coordinations of hand and feet. Next is the agility. So the agility is the ability to move the entire body accurately to a sudden chance or change of directions. So among the sports that require agility are football, soccer, basketball, hurdle, tennis and badminton. Next skill is speed. Speed is the ability of body to perform any movement in the shortest possible time. It is to move quickly and rapidly. It is a skill needed in many physical activities. Speed is very important in sports such as relay, swimming, hurdle, and baseball. That is speed. Another one is the power. Have you own power? So power is the ability to transform energy into an explosive force. That will be cause the body to the move fast of spring about. Power is a very important in such sports as swimming, weight lifting, shot put, javelin, and discuss throw. And the last skill related fitness is the reaction time. It is the needed for a muscle group to move in response to a given stimulus called reflexes. This skill is combination of other skills such as the agility, coordination, speed, and power. Fast reaction time is needed in relay and also the swimming. Next, let us proceed to how to develop muscular strength and endurance. Muscular strength can be gained weight training by the following methods. The isometric the isotonic and isometric programs. All methods used in developing strength can also be used to develop muscular endurance, but only on specific muscles. Now let's move on in number one, isochemetric method. It is requires special machinery, and that is only available in health clubs and gym. So that is the example. Next, we proceed to how to develop one of the muscular strength in endurance is the isotonic method. It is use of 
free of weight like barbells and dumbbells to develop muscular strength and endurance. And the last is the isometric method. It requires an individual force or pull against a fixed resistance of immovable object. Just like the example of push to pull. Okay. Have you observed that? Last. Next slide is What is the body mechanics? By skill and body movement Skillful bodily movements are necessary in the performance of our daily activities resulting on the economy of effort prevention of injury grace coordination and self fulfillment in the economy of effort means work of accomplished faster when skill is attended if positions of movement are Chains. It takes a long time to learn the new skills so that the person becomes uncomfortable. So the correct position of the body plays strain on the muscles resulting in a better performance of the persons. Proper body maintenance, posture weight control, and regular exercise can help improve the individual performance. Again, the body mechanics is a set of physical law applied the governing and effective and safe applications of force to different joints of a bony or livers of the body. And when you apply force to these livers and the body moves, the working together of the muscles and bones are directed to the nerves that makes smooth movement of these different levers. Now let's talk about the test skill related fitness. One is the test on flexibility. So what the types of this flexibility? So, in attached toes, the performance is very fair. Touch floor, very good or good. Touch little to the floor, very good. And the touch palms to floor, excellent. So, that's just a flexibility. Next is the speed. So this is the test of speeding. So the test of speeding, the type of this test is the maximum of run. His or her performance moderate. The force good the legs movement are also very good so this is the type of speeding another test of skill related fitness is the test on coordination when you're playing a golf so this type of their performance we count it okay because when you stand about 2 meters, about 6 feet from flat wall, the toes in the, in the goal from the right, below from the ball, is against of this uh, environment or the field 
rudder. So we we fit this continue to the sum of seconds and sum of number of times that can be give of these coordinations. So the count is from 25, 28, 32 to 35 and their performance on the fair, good, very good and excellent. Another is the test on balance. When you stand on your toes, when your heels together, close your eyes and hold your arms straight out in front of you. Stay in this position for 30 seconds without shifting your feet or opening your eyes and record your performance after three trials. And this record is from 15 seconds, we have fear, from 20 seconds, good, 25 seconds, very good, and the 30 seconds, also the excellent. Next slide is test reaction time. In the test reaction time, you can raise your right elbow in front of you. Your right hand palm up should be near your right ear. If you are left-handed to do this activity with your left hand, place a coin as close to the end of your elbow as possible. Quickly lower your elbow and drop the coin from your elbow. Do not throw it and drop the coin in the air with your right hand before it touches in the ground. So this type, you can handle this from 11 seconds and his or her performance is fair. From 10 seconds, 9 seconds, 8 seconds, that is gonna be the performance from good, very good, and excellent. Another slide is the test on agility. For example, you can draw a line on the floor and stand along the side of it as quickly as you can. Jump from the side to side over the line, but your feet together. Have some one time your for one minute. Count the number of times your feet touch the floor. And record results of your performance after three trials. Example, this is the type. You can earn 145 jump floor. Then from 145 jump floor you can you can you can rate yourselves according to the performance here and from 160 jump floor good and the next next around 175 jump floor you are very good and the last and last for your performance you can you can create you can earn also 185 jump floor and this is the highest total for your performance very excellent so that is the test on skill related fitness when you top up this activity last is the fly metrics fly metrics is a short method of exercise where athletes will jump from the certain height and experiences a shock on the landing in which the hip, knee, and ankle exterior muscles. 
they can undergo a powerful eccentric construction. The eccentric construction is just quickly switched to the isometric when the downward movement stops and then the concentric contract contraction in a minimum amount of time. This allows that athlete to jump upward as high as possible. So, plyometric or jump training are exercises based on making muscles. Okay? Therefore, the maximum platform height used by high-level athletes is no more than 40 inches or 100 centimeters approximately more than three feet because of the forces involved in the quickness of execution the central nervous system is strongly involved so this technique of jumping is also very important when exerting a plyometric exercises so the athlete goes in the slight squat or scrotch position upon the landing which their own flexion in the hips, knee, and ankle joints. All three parts contribute force to the onward jumps, but the knee joint extension is the major contributor. Before I leave this lesson, if you have time for Facebook, you have time to exercise. Start now. That's all for today. For more updates, please monitor your e-class platform. Thank you. Again, my name is Rinaldo B. Malimban, your MAPI 9.